So for a while now, I've been trying to figure out how to turn on the child lock for the uh, iPhone and the iPad. Now, the iPad and the iPhone, it doesn't have a feature called child lock, which can be a little bit deceiving because it actually does have one. Now, where it's act, what it's actually called is called guided access. So if you go under settings, you can scroll all the way down to on this side. Let's see if I can find it here. Accessibility. So you click on settings under the general accessibility. Scroll down. It's very hidden, so it's not very intuitive. Down here at the bottom, it says guided under learning. It says guided access. Click on that. So right now I have it turned it on. So yours will probably have it off. So turn it on just so it shows green. You're going to have your passcode settings. So you can set your passcode here. So I'll set guided access passcode. I'll go 1111. It'll ask you to re enter it. 1111. Okay, so now it's set. You even have, you can even set some time limits for um, an alarm. So you can set an alarm for time li limits or you can have it speak. So now it's on. So let me just click out of there. Now I'll bring up this uh, fun game, Angry Birds, if you've ever played Angry Birds. So if you're going to give your kid the iPad for a little bit to play some Angry Birds, click on that. So now the Angry Birds app is loading. So now what you do to actually turn on the guided access, you got to triple click down here on the home key. So one, two, three. So now it says guided access started. So now you know the guided access is started. So now if you click on some of these buttons, they've been disabled. So if you triple click, so now the kid can't. Mess with it. One, two, three. Now there's your passcode. One, 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 one. So, under guided access, there's a few options down here. So it has hardware buttons. So these are actually the buttons on the outside, such as the uh, sleep wake button, the volume, if you want them to be able to tilt it and spin it around. Um, so if it's a small child that kind of moves it around sideways and everything gets all goofy. You can just turn it off so it won't detect the motion. You can turn off the keyboard. If, say, it's something that has typing involved, you can actually turn it off so there can't be any typing. Um, it has touch. So if, say, you've got your kid watching a movie and you don't actually want them to touch the screen and do something with the screen, you can actually turn it off the touch. And then it has this little time limit. So if you say, okay, you can play Angry Birds for an hour in one minute, in an hour and one minute, it's going to time out. So I'm just going to go and hit resume. Well, actually, let me show you another, another little option. The angry the the uh, guided access has a feature. So if your kid's playing Angry Birds here, you can actually blank off certain parts of the screen so they're not accessible. So if you so if while you're actually in the guided access mode, you can actually draw. And that grayed out portion is a portion that is inaccessible. So I'm going to hit resume. So I'll go back to guided access. So now you can kind of kind of see it's a little bit grayed out, this part. So if you want your kid to play Angry Birds, don't, don't want them messing with settings. Don't want them to hit the shopping cart and buy $1,000 worth of Angry Birds stuff. You just click down here. And it's inaccessible. And then when you're all done, you want to turn it off. Just triple hit. put in the code and then you just click end on the top and there you go so now you can click say the shopping cart button and it loads and you want to spend all this money and the good the good thing with this is once you have the guided access set you can use it for any other apps so if I close Angry Birds and open some other game then the guided access would show for that as well and it'll be the same code for both of them. So that's a nice little feature I didn't know had until I had a kid. That is very handy to know, but it's 
not too intuitive because it's under guided access and not under specifically child lock, which is what I was looking for for the longest time. Okay.